EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey everybody, I'm Victor Lugo, and I'm here today to give you an inside look at the control configuration for EA Sports MMA. There are two types of configurations in EA Sports MMA, Total Strike Control, where you use the sticks, and Classic Control, where you use the buttons. Today I'm going to talk to you about Total Strike Control. In Total Strike Control, you'll be throwing strikes with the right stick and using the face buttons to grapple. Here are your basic controls. You move your fighter with the left stick. D-pad up will allow you to show your opponent respect. D-pad down will taunt your opponent. D-pad left or right will allow you to switch stands. Now that we understand that, let's talk about stand-up. We have four basic right stick gestures which you can perform to the left or right. Flicking the stick to 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock will get you straights. Swirling the stick from 9 to 12 or 3 to 12 will get you hooks. Moving the stick from 5 to 11 or 7 to 1 will get you uppercuts. Finally, swirling the stick from 3 to 9 or 9 to 3 will get you a back fist. Now that you know the basic gestures, let's talk about modifiers. You have four basic modifiers for kicking, blocking, body strikes, and fake strikes. Left trigger is your kick modifier. If you hold on to it and do your four gestures, you will get four different kicks. A jab motion will get you leg kicks. A hook motion will get you head kicks. The uppercut motion will get you teeps. And finally, the back fist motion will get you the spin kick. The right trigger will allow you to block. While holding block, you can flick the right stick to parry left or right. You can also flick the left stick while blocking to duck and slip punches. Holding the kick modifier and performing a parry will allow you to catch a kick. The right bumper is your body shot modifier. You can perform a jab, hook, and uppercut to the body. If you hold the body modifier and the kick modifier, you can throw a roundhouse or spinning back kick to the body. The left bumper is your fake modifier. Holding the left bumper and performing punch gestures will get you fake punches. You can also hold the left bumper in combination with the kick modifier to fake kicks. Some moves can only be triggered by dashing. Dashing is done by flicking the left stick. You can dash forwards and backwards as well as left and right. Dashing forward then throwing a jab will get you a Superman punch. Dashing left or right and throwing a hook will get you an overhand. And dashing forward and throwing a leg kick will get you a flying knee. Here's a tip. The flick you do to duck or slip a punch will also count as a dash, so you can duck or slip a strike and go directly into a dash move. That's all of the standing strikes. Now let's talk about grappling. While standing, you can perform a clinch by pressing Y. By default, you will go to the Muay Thai clinch, but if you hold down on the left stick and press Y, you will go for a double under clinch. A will get you a double leg takedown. Dashing left or right, then pressing A will get you a single leg takedown. B is your all-purpose button for denying a takedown or a clinch. X is rarely used while standing, but if you press it as soon as your opponent starts a takedown, you can catch them in a guillotine. If you find yourself in clinch, you have similar options to standing. The left stick will allow you to push your opponent. A jab motion will get you a punch to the head. A hook motion will get you an elbow to the head. You can use your modifiers to throw knees, body shots, fakes, and to block and parry. You will get different strikes depending on what position you are in, so make sure you try striking combinations from every clinch position. Grappling from the clinch is similar to stand-up. Pressing A will get you a takedown. Holding up on the left stick and pressing A as the dominant fighter in Muay Thai clinch will allow you to jump guard. B will deny transitions and takedowns. X will get you a submission, but you can only do this from the dominant position in Muay Thai clinch. Y has several functions in the clinch. Holding up on the left stick and pressing Y will allow you to transition to Muay Thai clinch. Down in Y will allow you to transition to double under clinch. Holding the left stick away from your opponent and pressing Y will allow you to escape from the clinch. The ground game is similar to the clinch. You can throw jab and hook motions to perform different strikes from different positions. You can also use your four modifiers to throw knees, body shots, fakes, and to block and parry. If you want to catch a strike, you need to hold both triggers and parry a strike. To transition on the ground, simply press A. If you hold up on the right stick and press A, you will go for a major transition. Pressing left or right while transitioning will allow you to pick the side you want to transition to. B will once again allow you to deny all grappling advances. X will allow you to attempt a submission. Holding up and pressing X will allow you to get an alternate submission whenever available. In general, the primary submission is an arm lock or leg lock and the secondary submission is a choke. Y allows you to posture up, stand up, or give up your back depending on what position you are in. Holding up on the left stick and pressing Y will allow you to bypass posturing up and stand straight up. If you would like to flop to open guard, you can do so by dashing away from your opponent and pressing B. From open guard, you can use the left stick to move towards your opponent. You can perform a scissor takedown by pressing A. You can block or parry your opponent's strikes by holding the right trigger and flicking the right stick. And you can press Y to stand up. If you find yourself standing while your opponent is in open guard, you can do a few different things. You can kick your opponent in the legs by throwing any strike. You can perform a diving punch by dashing forward and throwing a jab. You can go to guard stack by pressing A. Or you can go to a postured up guard position by holding the left stick towards your opponent and pressing A. 
finally, you can deny a scissor takedown by pressing B. Thanks everyone, I'm Victor Lugo, and that's about it for Total Strike Control.